Hello everybody, today is just a little quick fucking video with my boy over here since YouTube decided to fucking demonetize his channel for no fucking reason. You want to know the reason they gave him? Reused content. Wow. I didn't realize making your own fucking content means you're reusing someone else's. Wow. Didn't think that was a thing at all. So, today, if YouTube's gonna fucking allow it, we're gonna make a, you know, an original video. Ooh, you never hear that. Whoa, Susan. You probably are going running around in your chair right now. You're getting scared because he's making his own content. <gasps> We're making our own content too? <gasps> Shocker. Oh my God, because the platform is for original content creators. <gasps> So today, we might want to do a little quick video not to do that, that was just a little uh, making fun of Susan Wabajack over here because she can't do her freaking job on YouTube. But no, we're talking about Gears 5. Why are we talking about Gears 5 now? Isn't it like a year old? Well, yeah, but doesn't mean we still can't talk about it. So today, we have Operations 4, whip de doo a new operation for our tour of duty. If you laugh at that, then you're a child, but not that we're talking about the tour of duty. This is just something that happened that I had never heard of this free for all because I hate multiplayer or at least versus mode. Yeah, I know it's shocking. The only problem is I hate it in the newer games. The only difference is in Gears 5, you can actually see their health. So that's a little bit cool, but it's better to play it on Gears 2 or Gears 3, but especially Gears 2. But it sucks because you have to wait 40 to an hour just to get into a stupid game if you just want to play with other people, which is not worth it whatsoever. Nonetheless, people still play it. There is a mode that we are definitely needing to talk about. Ladies and gentlemen, free for all. Now, you might think about free for all from call of duty and i think halo had it too not that i don't remember halo having it it's just because i didn't play a halo multiplayer game in a year but this is the reason why we are definitely needing to talk about why this does not work for gears of war number one this free for all has only shotguns or whatever this g word they want to put into us and none the fact that they can actually spawn you with a lancer so you can't even realize why you're not being able to kill anyone until it's too late and the fact is that that one gun can one shot people so think of it as a tomb raider but minus the fact that it can become a sniper but it's still overpowered nonetheless just crappy range the shotgun is also broken not as the sniper but the fact is you and your opponent can both be at the same area looking at you in the same range if you both shot you wouldn't even do the same damage you would do different kinds of damage I know this doesn't comply the free-for-all but if you're only using the shotgun then I'm sorry this is basically the still the standpoint and this is what their sixth game even though it's called Gears 5 or whatever they basically didn't fix it in any of the games. And that is stupid of them. Because if they were going to do anything, fix the game. Just plain and simple fix the game. Note that they really can't always have the shotguns only. But there's actually a mode for it being free for all and shotguns only. But I wanted just to address the shotguns only. RPG number two. I give the stars no more self of busy mad the help one yet go. Lest we a hill as chat. Lest we shall see if get chat. Or be the scenario misses a be sure for draft if it's Danish. A marble ash and galam as a wish niche of no power serve of bear with a cash demand as a scuff. Zulk nick no us. He am vena fush there and a barber if the dealy rich no man as a decide this said. Right, no, no. Dub. Your asses and I lost this new December caps at the one of the half of no bar if it's now still the bar for you and ya. Why it is a gallery? You know it, blah, you're a. No, we're the wall. I've been the bar, but I have to stay afloat. It's not easy. Be a person you don't want. Can somebody? 
Take me a the thing going to do going to do Where's up Number 3 it's multiplayer. Multiplayer is not supposed to make any sense. But it's not like Halo or Gears of War. Like Halo, maybe. It, I mean, you're already versing each other for your own costume. So that's kind of a little bit weird. But whatever. We can move on to that. But Call of Duty, it still makes sense because it's the same thing as Halo. You're still all the same humans. You're still just killing each other. And it doesn't matter if you're on teams. It doesn't work for Gears 5 because every single time you're a cog or locust and you always have to be a team. Now you're free for alling so basically you're trying to say screw your teammates, you're on your own. So you're basically killing people in your own squad and then killing people on the opposite which makes no sense. Now that's not really like a big standpoint, I, was just, I just wanted to nitpick on that, that just doesn't make any sense. Honestly, it just makes it kind of stupid if you think about it. Number four, the maps they pick are ridiculously stupid for free-for-alls. Like, you try to go around, get spawned, and already you're dead. That's it. And it's not like, you might be able to survive a little bit, but that's just it. People can just, you know, tag team you because the map is too small. But that's not the only reason. It's the fact that the map is not only too small, there's not a lot of room or hiding places so people can actually try to survive more. And there's no skill involved to it because there is no skill. I mean, I just played this so I think I already know. I mean, it might think I'm really low, but I was honestly getting dominated in the game and I was giving no mercy to the game. So that's gotta say something. Last point I wanna give across, there's too many people in a game at once. Now, Call of Duty has like, what, 10 people maybe, a little bit more. This just takes that and butt rapes it to the point of no return. There's not as many people, but there still is many people. And especially in maps like this, you can have up to 14. It's kind of not really anyone's fault more than them because when you have that whole people in a small, like even playing on like Nuketown is really hard to do because it's just annoying to play. But it still is able to be played because you can do other things. You have like score sheets to help you out. You can make sure, because there's only a couple spawn points, you know where they are. And the big maps, Sure, they're annoying for free-for-all, but they're that's supposed to be what you want. Because free-for-all is literally free-for-all. Putting that in there is just freaking ridiculous. So having that, like say a large map, you can have like 15 people, sure, because it's a big map. But a small map with like no spawn areas and everybody's on top of each other, that's not good. That's, that's not good level design whatsoever, and that's not even good for having that much people it can be cool for an intensity yes but it's debatable and it's just way too chaotic which i like chaotic things but at this certain situation that's not the case because it's way too much you need to calm it down a little bit that's like putting five bosses in horde mode insane so there you go, short fucking video. Happy for you guys that the real RPG is still here. Don't worry, we're doing stuff today, boys. Don't worry, he's gonna be back again. He's gonna be with the other people. And, um, oh yeah. Fix your site, YouTube. Wake up, YouTube. Monetize the real RPG. Legends never die. Bye. Never change no matter how famous I get It won't be the same, yeah, that's the truth, I know it, yeah hey, They'll all scream my name, I can't let shit go to my head I won't ever change, yeah, I won't ever change, yeah I won't ever